What's up, my immune friends? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is kj 4 8 and we are back with Mist Survival. So, when I logged in to the game today, um, I realized I when I actually saved the game and logged out in the city. When I logged in, there was bandits all over the place. I would have hit the record button, but I had to get out of there quickly. Uh, nothing crazy happened, though. I just drove the hell out of there. Um, right now, I am at the uh, sniper nest area, and I'm going to try and get this sniper weapon. Oh, boy, he sees me. Okay, wait, how does he still see me? Wait, what? Okay, he doesn't see me anymore. Alright, so I'm going to try and get this uh, sniper rifle. Here's the thing, guys. When I logged on today, I was like, I'm either going to do a building episode or a bandit episode. And I was like, you know what? I want, kind of want to do a building episode, but I'm going to need a lot of logs. And you know who chops logs? Scott. So what we're going to do today is we're going to attack one of the bandit camps and try and, um, try and rescue Scott. And we'll see where it goes from there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save right here. And I'm going to kill this guy over and over until he drops what I need. Got him. All right, let's go see if he's got it. I don't know if his buddies are around. Usually when he's up there like that, he doesn't have any support. So hopefully he doesn't have any because that would be a lot easier to just run up there and try and grab the sniper rifle. Sometimes he drops it down on the, uh, like, down off of the balcony, but we'll check up here first. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's not looking good. Uh, one thing we can do is we can stab his body, because sometimes he's laying on the we on the weapon. And he doesn't seem to be moving. Kind of move him if you hit him in certain ways. There you go. Yeah. I can't seem to move him. I don't think he's laying on it, though. Uh, let's see if he threw it down here. So, again... Oh, it's a stick. Uh, when you shoot him, he could drop it down here. Although I'm not seeing it anywhere. Okay. Yeah, like I said, he's got a pretty low chance of uh, getting it. I need the weapon, though. So we're going to reload and try and get it. Oh my god, I finally got it. Now that's a broken rifle. I'm thinking I'm going to have to repair that, and I'm not really sure how. But I am i don't think you can actually get the sniper rifle anymore. I think you have to get the broken one to repair it. And I'm going to need gun parts to repair that. So, okay. And we are back. And I just asked in Discord about the broken hunting rifle. Uh, you need a workbench level 3. And I think he said components. Uh, now, when I was... Uh, first of all, it took about a dozen tries to get that thing. Like, I failed a bunch of them. Like, I failed, like, maybe about a third of them. Maybe not a bunch. But I failed, I failed like, a third of them. So, I, I would probably say I probably tried about 20 times, maybe... And succeeded about 12, 15, and I finally got the sniper rifle. Um, so keep at it, guys. It definitely drops there. Um, I couldn't find anyone on Discord that said that they got it to drop after this update. So as far as I know, you know, I'm the only one I talked to that has gotten it after this update. So I know I'm not the only one, but it's the only one I know of. So, um, yeah, just keep at it. You'll be able to get them. Just, you know, uh, just reload, man. Just keep reloading. And, yeah, all I got to do is get my workbench up to level 3, and I should be good to go. I don't know exactly... Oh, hold on. Hold on. I don't know exactly what I need to upgrade my, my workbench to level 3. I'm thinking I probably have what I need. I don't know if it takes anything, like, really rare, you know, or, like, special. So, we're going to have to kind of see about that. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tell you guys right now, every time you come through... Not everyone watches every video, guys. So, I'm just letting you guys know. When you come through here, you want to break this thing up with the sledgehammer, first of all. Watch out for the bear. Um, you want to break this thing up with the sledgehammer every time you come through because it gives you gears. Every gear, you're going to need a gear for every piece, of, for every storage locker you make, the good ones, right? And you're going to need six gears for the generator. Now, you can always craft gears, right? But they're super duper duper expensive. They take a lot of that scrap metal stuff. So just think about it like this. Every gear you get, you're saving a bunch of scrap metal. And plus, you're getting more scrap metal anyway. So it's win-win. It's uh, this sniper rifle is going to be awesome. I'm definitely going to assault that bandit base. Um, I don't know which one yet. I'd really like to get Scott today. We're going to kind of have to see how that goes. But I think I'm going to assault the bandit base that's on the way to the city. You know, the one, the big one that you make the right. And then you, um, uh, if you make the right, you go to the new area. You know, and, and I'm going to start gearing up because I really want to start going to the new area. Um, I want to get at least Scott before I do that, though. Because Scott will cut down trees for me like a boss. So let's come on in here and let's see what we need to upgrade this thing. Uh, the workbench should be on the ground. Cool. We need to do some work in here, by the way. 
All right, so we got to get to level two. Okay, so level two takes one of those cases. If it takes another case to get to level three, I might be in trouble. I think I only have one of those cases. Like, I could have two. I I'm not really sure, honestly. Um, okay, so I do have two, so we'll see. We'll see. I, I probably should have looked at what else it took. That was pretty pretty dumb. You could jump off there, but you take some damage if you do. Uh, all right, what else do we need? Uh, well, I have everything else. No, I don't. I need four... Oh, do I need four gears? Holy moly. All right, I guess we're going to have to make some gears anyway. Because I'm not going to go break that thing four times. Oh, man, four gears. Holy shit, what the hell is level three going to take? All right, well, I already have three gears. So I guess I'm going to show you guys how to make gears. All right, that is just fine. I will show you how to make some gears. How's my food and stuff doing? Eh, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. I do have an apple. You want to save the apples for Rachel because she got some kind of quest. But you got to give her an apple first. Kind of weird, but... <laughs> I like the fact that the um that the developer is thinking like quests and get stuff for survivors and stuff. I just think it's kind of weird that Rachel wants an apple. Why is that weird? I don't know. It's just I guess it's not that weird. It just seems kind of weird to me. That over there is the area I was just at, but that is not the one you want to go to. You want to come to the one over here because this one has the blacksmith place. I need to eventually make a blacksmith place at my base. Um, I should probably do that relatively soon. Coming out here's um, I don't know. It's kind of annoying. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put all of these in here. And I might make some extra. Yeah, let's make some extra. I don't know how many I'm going to need. I think it's four per gear. Actually, that might not be extra. I might need all of that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, four per gear. And then what you do is you sleep for an hour. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle and it's done. Hopefully you don't get a mist. Although I think if you get a mist, it wakes you up. There we go. And now this stuff is done. I'm going to take this over here. And I guess I'll just make this all into gears. Sure, why not? Yeah, there you go. Craft yourself. And that's going to give us all the gears we're going to need to upgrade the to level 2 of the workbench. Or maybe we're at level 2 and I need to go to level 3. You know what? I think we're at level 2 and we're going to level 3. Because now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure... You know, I'm going to drink... Is there any other... So Yeah, I got sodas that are going bad. Yeah, because now that I think about it, I had to go to level 2 to make the bow, didn't I? Oh, that would be great if this was level 3. Then I wouldn't have to worry about anything. Oh, yeah. Okay. This. You know what? I think this is level 3. But it's weird. It says level 2. I guess that means it's at level 2. And I'm thinking, like, it should probably say level 3, saying you want to go to level 3? I don't know. Whatevs. I think you get what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, I'm 99% sure this thing's already at level 2. See, it doesn't say. It says it's at level 2. Click the gear to upgrade. Um, oh, I still need some more of that. Okay. Yeah. I got a little confused there, but hey, man, that's a happy confusion. That's a happy confusion. Where you're like, oh, I'm going to need to do all of this. And that's going to take so much time and, and resources I don't have. To, oh, no, I don't need any of that stuff. We're done. That's freaking awesome. 60 minutes. And we should be at level 3. Now, this will go away completely. Oh. Yep. Upgrade max. Level max. Cool. Uh, upgrade workshop. Wait, what? There we go. There's the chain. That's for the chainsaw, by the way. Let's see what else we can make in here. Alright. These animal traps never worked. So, I'm not sure if they work now, but they never worked before. The car jack's great for flipping your car around if it gets stuck. This is what I'm looking... Oh, my God. Look at this. Hunting rifle! Yeah, boy! Oh, man. That's freaking awesome. You know what the problem is, though? I don't think I have enough ammo for it. Although, I won't, need a, I won't need a lot of ammo for what I'm doing. And I might be able to actually make some. So, let's come over here and see if we can make some ammo. All right. In order to make the ammo, we need to make the reloading bench... I don't have a lot of gunpowder, but I think with the gunpowder I do have, I can make, I can have up to five rounds total, which um, should be enough. You know, I don't think I have any, um, do I have any, uh, what is it? It's not brass, it's uh, copper. I did make some copper ingots, it's good. Um, we're going to need some more uh, gears as well, aren't we? Damn, man, I told you you need a lot of gears. Okay, so in order to make the ammo, I'm going to need casings. In order to make the casings, I need more of this freaking stupid iron come on man zero minutes what the hell there we go 
Okay, so there we go. And let's come in here and we'll go right here. And we're gonna need um, casings for 762. All right, and uh, let's just make 16 for now. I'm, I don't have enough gunpowder to like make any more than that anyway. So I, mean, I only got enough gunpowder to make three actually. So, all right, so let's get back to base and we're gonna go ahead and make some 762. I think we're only going to have about seven rounds. So we gotta make it, we gotta make it count. Um, the base I'm gonna hit should, should have no more than like four, uh, four bandits in it. So the seven rounds should be okay. Shouldn't be a problem. I think next episode we're gonna go to we're gonna go to the second mine. Definitely want to go to that second mine. Turn that off. Turn that off. Get out. Because uh, the second mine has all the salt, the salt peter and and uh, sulfur and stuff we're gonna need um, in order to make ourselves more more rounds of ammunition. Okay, so here we go. And right there, one, two, three. All right, three more rounds. I've got four locked in. So that looks pretty good to me. Hell yeah. Yeah, baby. Seven rounds. Should be okay. I think what I'm going to also take is... Um, I'm going to have the shotgun for sure. I'm going to take the rifle. I think I'm going to leave the pistol at home. Um, I'm going to the pistol. Uh, how many rifle rounds do I have? I don't think I have a lot of rifle rounds. Revolver. Revolver. Right. Is that all the rifle ammo I have? I must have rifle ammo somewhere else I don't know about. Um, all right. Well, maybe I will take the pistol. I really want the. I really want the. Um, the M4, but I could just make this a pistol. Pistol type day. All right. Let's go get Scott. I don't know how I, I used all my rifle rounds. I don't know. I, that doesn't make me feel good. I like. I like falling back on that rifle. The problem is, I don't mean the hunting rifle. I mean I like falling back on the. Um, uh, the assault rifle. The thing was with the assault rifle though is you know like when I get in trouble I go pop 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 pop. You know so maybe I might use a few rounds when I only like want to use one or two but the thing is i want to get the kill so it's almost better to just use another round or two and make sure you get the kill than diddle around with like shots here and there and get killed and have to reload and everything um so yeah we're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna hit the second mine um as far as i know there's only two mines in this game the the first mine i took you guys to in the beginning of the series that's where i got all the iron and stuff and that's where you get all the metal like uh, metal nodes and everything um the other mine is going to be like i said saltpeter and sulfur and that is going to allow me to make gunpowder. I need gunpowder because that is what I need to make the ammo at this point. And I will make a bunch of ammo for that um, uh, for that assault rifle. Faux show. Sure. Just trying to flip over here. So we're going to drive down this road. There is a, um, a bandit encampment on the left. They will spawn sometimes. If you don't drive by fast enough, for, you know they'll, they'll spawn and start shooting at you. Oh, boy. Well, this is exactly the way I want it to be turning. Man. Dude, I've been watching Partially Royal play. And he drives like a maniac, and I think it's starting to, I think it's starting to, you know, rub off on me a little bit. So we're going to come on over here and try and get back on the main road after the military camp. There we go. And this is going to be a sit up and take notice situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive down this road, and this road is going to take us to that oil refinery type place, which is where I got the sniper rifle, right? Um, but we gotta drive by it. I don't want to be shot at. I don't want to be dealing with anything there. We just gotta drive by it. We're gonna make a right. All right, it's gonna be after this gas station up here. Uh, where is it? All right, we got this wreck. Right after this wreck will be the gas station, and right after the gas station will be the oil refinery on the on the top left. And we're just going to ignore that. Now, if you want to go to the to the mine that we're gonna go to next video, you would make you would just keep going past that that I just drove past. You go. You just keep going past that oil refinery. Okay, so the bandit camp we're going to be targeting is going to be up here on the right. Uh, I'm not sure how far I want to come down. Let's actually get out right now and save, just in case things go wrong. I could drive by it. I don't think driving by it is going to be a good idea, though. I think we should probably park maybe right about here and go on foot. I might actually be a little bit farther away than I need to be. But it's definitely over here somewhere. Uh, I don't know if you moved this one or rebuilt it or something. Yeah, I can kind of see it now. Okay. All right, I can see it and I can see the bandits. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here in the woods and we're going to try and work our way around behind the base. I, I feel like this base is in a different spot than it used to be. I'm thinking he might have, like, done something with it. I also got to watch out for snipers in that, in that guard tower. There's one guard tower in the middle of the base. 
And that's what I'm going to have to watch out for first and foremost. Um, again, I don't. Uh, this kind of feels different. I, I think this base is, is a little different than I remember it. So that should make things pretty exciting. Let's come on up here and keep him. Uh, yep, there he is. We gotta be careful. We don't have a lot of rounds, and I don't think there's a, any way to like hold your breath. Yep, oh, he sees me. See that little eye? You've been spotted. Yeah, um, the leaves and stuff will break the bullets. Like you, like you can't shoot through the leaves and stuff. There we go. Got him. Uh, there's more shots that I wanted to spend, and I got pretty messed up. But that's to be expected. He is a sniper. Yeah, they've definitely uh, they've definitely redone this this base area. There's no doubt. This is not the way it used to be. Okay. Oh, here we go. All right, three rounds left. Two bandits down. Let's see any other movement. That's kind of weird. Maybe I should just go in. Gun oh boy. Yep. Okay. I don't even know where that was coming from. Wasn't it the guard tower? Was he? Man, I have no idea. I don't like it when I don't know where the gunfire is coming from. <laughs> I didn't even see it. I'm gonna watch the video back. All right, guys, we're gonna give it another try. Come on down here. Like I said, they redid this base, man. This is nothing like what I remember. So, it's a son of a bitch of a base now, man. Let's see if we can get it. I tried a few different times from different angles on the other side of the road and stuff. I think this would probably be probably be my best bet. Although, I don't know for sure. It's going to kind of have to see what we can see. Got to watch out for that sniper. The sniper is going to be the big, the big problem at the beginning of this. And when you try and shoot through branches and stuff, it tends to, like, mess up your aim or your bullets and stuff. I don't really know. I don't really seem to do it for the for the enemy. But when I try and shoot through, like, um, through trees and stuff, it doesn't really work well. You want to complete... Yeah, this looks like this is like the spot I want to be at. Oops. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait. There he is. Got him. Okay. Unfortunately, I took some damage, so all the enemy has to do is sneeze on me, and I'm dead. So, it is what it is. This slow at hit points, I think I should stay back a little bit. I do have the ranged weapon, so... Did that kill him? Alright, let's just go in the hell of it. Let's do it! Damn, man, you fast, bro. Where's the last one? Damn it, I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Ooh, shoot, there was two more. I think. It looked like I got shot up from the right. Come on, there's got to be somebody else. I don't feel like I killed that many. Maybe I did. Really? Did I kill them all? I didn't think I killed... Like, there's not always four here, so... Man, I didn't think I killed them all. Alright. What's up, Scott? 
Proceed. We got Scott now, so you can now chop down some trees. Okay, he is a soldier and a wood cut down tree guy. Yes, I do want him. And we'll take some uh, tomato seeds. We'll take that armor. How's my armor doing? Okay. Uh, oh, we don't have any armor. Oh, that's right. You guys don't know about that. Okay, when I was coming out here um, my, the first time, I actually my game crashed. So I had to redo everything because I didn't save it for a while. So after my game crashed, I came back out here and I didn't bring any of my armor. Basically, when my game crashed, I, I saved the game. I think the last time I saved the game was right after I got the, the broken hunting rifle. So I had to go back. I had to make all the armor I, or ammo. I had to make um, uh, the, the, the bullet making bench. Um... I had to upgrade my workbench, fix this, fix the hunter. I do everything you guys already saw me do because my game crashed. And then when I came back, I forgot to put on armor. Okay. Well, that definitely made things more difficult, but that's all right. It's all good. Ooh, pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. Let's look around here so we can get some loot. Um, this guy just, I've rolled up on this guy. Just blasted him. That was freaking awesome. I do like sniping a couple of them and then coming in. I, I don't let, I don't want to snipe every single one of them. It doesn't I don't know. I like coming in running gun and and blasting with the shotgun too. Oh, you know what? I didn't check the sniper up top to see if he dropped anything. Let me go do that now really quick. I don't I don't I looked around, I didn't see anything. He probably despawned because it's been so long. But just to make sure Oh, there he is. Oh, okay, so you dropped some grenade fragments. Just looking back there. All right. Did he drop the Did he drop the sniper rifle? I don't know. Probably not. But sometimes they'll throw it off the balcony when they die. So if he did drop it, it would have been down here somewhere. But I'm not really seeing it. Not that I really need it. I already have one. But you only need one. All right. Cool. Is there any other loot in here? Let's see anything else around here. I feel like I'm hearing stuff, but it's probably just my own my own footsteps and paranoia. Okay. What about you, bro? Alright, I'll take that ammo. Okay. Alright, well, let's check this uh, building right here, and then I think that's it for this episode. I'm not going to take these with me either. Ooh. Got to open that one, huh? Alright, I will open you with my crowbar. I like the crowbar better than the uh, lockpicks. I think it makes more noise, but... Eh. Really? You're going to make me crowbar or something? There's not even going to be anything in there? Alright. Well, it is what it is, I guess. Let's see if this can break. Nope. Alright. And I think we are just about done here. Let's check the car out, out here. Get back to our car and get the hell out of here. Nothing. I don't really care what's in the front. Um, yeah. Yes, it is true. Um, at one point in the game, your car parts would take damage. But that was a long time ago, and he turned that off a long time ago. I don't think my car parts are taking damage. They definitely weren't before this update. When this game first came out, your car parts would take damage, and you'd want to get more car parts to have backups, right? Um, but, I mean, he changed that a long, long time ago. And unless he changed it back on this update, I don't really need more car parts. And I, I don't think he did. Although, I should probably take a look. I should probably... You know what? I'm almost back at my, uh, almost back at my truck. Why don't I take a look and see where my engine's at? Maybe I'll write it down or something. And then we could check again in a few videos. Uh, 47.1. Alright, let's try and remember that. I won't remember it. You guys should let me know. Write it down in the... Uh, <laughs> write that down for me, will you? Alright, so that is really cool. We got Scott. This video is taking me hours and hours to make. Because all the farming and stuff I've been having to do. And the fact that the game crashed. So what I'm going to do is... Alright, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go back and we're going to have... Um, we're going to do a building... Really? Get the hell out of here, man. There could be bandits right behind me shooting at me. I'm surprised they didn't. Um, I think next video we're going to do a building video. And I will show you how Scott chops down trees. Because he's a freaking beast. Alright, guys. If you have enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.